Vibro, what's up, man? Vibro TV, Vibro TV, you what's know. <laughs> Big Nintendo for the city, man. Got you back in the, you back in the house, you know. Yeah, definitely got Big back in the house. Big back <laughs> In the studio. <laughs> Last time we was interviewing the back of the car. That's what I'm saying. It was, I caught you off. It was awesome, my car, but you was just doing a show, you know. Yeah. Which is dope. Like that was some dope, you know, dope stuff. We knocked the show. I knocked the interview out same night, you know. And today, you right at the same thing you with the studio. So yeah, basically, you always working. Yeah. Is that what you know? You I mean, if I'm, I ain't gonna lie. If I'm not with the family, bro, I'm working. Right, right, right. It really ain't got no much time for a lot of other shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, that's what's up, man. What you, how many, what you, uh, been in the studio all day? Uh, half the day. Half the Jake Jugger. Right. Half the day in the studio. It's all work, though. It's all work related. Yeah, yeah. Making money, <laughs> man. It's all work related. Not for real, though. Facts, facts, though, man. So, uh, man, what you, uh, you, you so you working on a project right now? Yeah, uh, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, that's, that's, that happens every time. Like, I, once I get in the studio... I get like in work mode, like shit just start. Yeah. Like at first I'm like I'm about to put a single out or a tape, and then it just end up turning into a whole project. A project, right, right. So is it gonna be like a spring, like a spring, some summer type project? I'm trying. No, I'm trying to go. For, yeah, maybe yeah. early spring, early summer. Yeah. I mean late spring, early summer. You feel me? I'm trying yeah. to catch that that summer wave. Though. That drip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel me? As soon as it's get hot out, niggas don't know how to act. Just dropping that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got some know how to act music for your ass. Yeah, for real. Hey, nah, that's crazy, bro. Nah, so um, yeah, catching back up, you know, um, you know, as far as you know, life and everything, you yeah, know, goes. Nah, you good? Nah, I said this. As far as life, my and bad. Everything. I'm multitasking. I'd be doing a hundred things. That nah, way, I you can, trust me. If you ask, I'm gonna listen. Yeah. Like, uh huh. Nah, you good. Um, I was saying like you know, as far as you know, uh, life and everything like that. You know, how you how you been? You know, managing life. You know, uh, since you you know coming from being incarcerated. You know, it's been about what, three four months now. Yeah, four months. About going five. Uh, I mean, it's, it's you gotta adjust. Right. You definitely gotta adjust because you uh you think that you are gonna move the same way or you gonna crash out, go back right in that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then you know, grab it. But uh. I it's definitely like like you gotta learn how to adjust. You gotta learn how to just everything, bro. You feel me? From the simplest things to right. you get you start you start being. I mean, at least me, I start thinking about my next move before you. Man. I mean, I always did, but I'm just saying, like in general, like what I'm gonna surround myself or where I'm gonna, where I'm going, but like what the fuck's around there? Like, right. You feel me? Do I need to really need to be there? Yeah. You know what I mean? So. That's you think a lot. Basically, say like you think it a lot smarter now. Yeah, definitely him. Definitely think a lot smarter. Did I was walking around with no head on my shoulder. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. Did you break that uh, break that down a little bit more for the you know for the audience. I mean, I was going like I would have put it to you like I always. I'm not saying I ain't no stupid motherfucker, but you know I do stupid things. I've done stupid things in in, in the past that put me away from my family. Take away my freedom, you know what I'm saying? So, take the, you gotta, you gotta move smarter. You feel me? Still sure. do what you do, move smart. Yeah, that's for sure. I see you got the, you know, the big, big Nintendo lemon right there. Oh yeah, this, this see the big advertisement, big yeah. advertisement. Number one, this the one. Let me put that right <laughs> there for y'all, so y'all know. This, this, this is the one. Mm -hmm. We just dropped it like a week ago, you know, High C, empowered by High C, you know what I'm saying? Big, big Nintendo Lemon Cherry, but our family's on Modesto, California, you know what I'm saying? You know, we got the town and uptown, like, thing, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck we gonna win? We gonna run the town. If you fuck, you feel me? We got the town from the west, and up, I'm uptown in the east. What the fuck going on, man? But nah, we just dropped that, you know what I'm saying? For the, you know, for the smokers. Facts, facts. So how long you been, uh... You know, in that business, like... I mean, I've been doing weeds. You know, I ask, like... When did we start, like, actually, like, you know, branding and actually taking yeah, it serious? Yeah, 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 producing the product. You know, I always been fucking with the weeds since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna right. lie, so I was 13, which is bad. You gotta be 18 or older, kids. <laughs> you feel me? Nah, but, uh... I've been fucking with the weed, man. I'm gonna say... Three years now. You feel me? It all mm -hmm. started with my brother, uh... 
chemo. You know what I'm saying? He uh, introduced me to some good men, and then we was in here making music. And then he was like, "Bro, you gotta like, he like you big Nintendo. You gotta have like like we gotta have something for you. You know what I'm saying? This is before we even had the character or anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then one day I came to the stool. This motherfucker's laughing. He on his phone, right? This nigga Kimo laughing. He's looking at me. He's laughing. He's like, bruh, you look like the motherfucker. I said, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Like, you look, uh -huh. like, what are you talking about? He turned the phone around, and that's the first time he showed me the like the like the rough draft. What yeah. what the dude was drawing. He was sketching it out first. There was no color, no nothing. This this the second version of him. You know what I mean? So he right there laughing, and I'm I'm like, what the fuck? He showed me the joint. It was I was like, this is it. You feel me? Uh -huh. This is it right here. Right. You know what I'm saying? This big Nintendo, this is him. Uh-huh. You know, that type of shit, so. You know. uh, so you went with that and you felt like, um, nah, that's dope, man. Nah, I mean, like, nah, like I said, then I took that trip out west. Uh -huh. linked up with some, with some, uh, you know? Yeah. linked up with some farmers and, you know, did all the shit the right way, bro. Right, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Everything, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And that's what it's about sometimes, side. you know? You can doing things the right way, you know, being a step ahead, you yeah. know? Yeah, facts. You know, as an artist, you gotta always, you know, you gotta keep a uh, extra head, a, Extra, you know, always got to keep an extra, you know, step ahead. Mm -hmm. For sure. Got to keep your head in your swivel, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know how to move this motherfucker. Nah, that's good, man. So, you know, you know, as far as, you know, individual, you know, uh, you know, you know, producing just, you know, I know, you know, you know, producing you know, a lot of, you know, music, you know, producing music, you know, throughout the recent years, you know, but yeah. what are, you know, I see you definitely got that going on. You know, like, I invest in barbershops. Yeah. Just, like, simple stuff that, just, you know what I'm saying, that, yeah. I'm gonna say this like, put it like this. You know what I'm saying? You need your twenty percent, man. You gotta invest in some things <laughs> and help people get what they need to get, and then yeah. they always gonna kick that, kick sure back, <coughs> kick back the return. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me, but not. <coughs> I'm investing in a lot of other things. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like stuff with cars, stuff with. You know what I'm saying? Simple stuff. You feel me? Yeah. But you know, at the end of the day, is 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 when you got a bunch of stuff, get you know, bring you revenue. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, Right, 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 right. Not for that like I said, this shit came as a hobby. I ain't gonna lie. Weed <laughs> was a hobby. You feel me? Uh -huh. and before the weed, all that, I used to be an AV technician. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, also, you technician? A, yeah, I was a, a sub, subcontractor. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. So, you so you, uh, so you, you was like kind of like a mechanic? Nah, it was, I was audio visual. You know what I'm saying? We set up, yeah. like, we used to set up big ass events. Still got to do with music. Like, I'm putting that, instead of these little ass speakers, I'm putting big ass speakers up. You feel me? You know, uh -huh. like, Trust and like fucking like lights and and, yeah. and you know what I'm saying like, yeah. like did the children's banquet all that shit. This is a long time ago. You know? uh -huh. Hold up. Hey, uh, let me let me uh quit right back. I'm got like, in a situation. I'm in the uh, interview and shit. Yeah, I'm gonna call you back though. I talked to Bill earlier too. <coughs> yeah, but you know what I'm saying alright, but I'm, I'm gonna call you in a little bit. All right? Man, shout out Billy Bush. Free my man Billy Bush, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Free all the good man. But now you see like I told you I was the A V technician and shit. Mm -hmm. You know. All right, cool. Gotta do something with shit. So I see you got your um uh, so with your um you know, here, you know, with your producer, you know, I see you guys producing some good work. Yeah, my so. man Lowry, man. Yeah. Lowry said what's up to him, man. man. You feel me? Super Mario, you get say what's up to him, man. <laughs> You feel me? Don't be shy. These niggas, the whole world about to nah, know you. Sure, you sure. feel me? Nah, for real. Hey, look. Working on this tape. You feel me? Like, I met Lyle when I came home. Uh, again, through, like, you know, AVA Studio. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's family right here. So, when I came home, Key was like, bro, I got somebody for you. Like, nah, it was Jay, right? Yeah, Jay. Jay. Yeah, Jay, yeah. <laughs> we Kilo outside. Key was up, yeah. Fact, so, you know, my man Jay Money. You know, man, pull up, Tendo. He had, uh, you know, I had just came home, so he had, he had, he was in the store and he had bought, bought me some shoes and shit. Mm -hmm. So I was here to pick him up, basically. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm here to pick him up, and then Lowey was right here, so he introduced me to Lowey. I'm like, what's up? You know, my, I, I'm like, man, let's get in there right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But nah, we couldn't get in there that night, so I came in like a week later, and then it was like at three in the morning. I came. Yeah, three in the morning. Yeah, I we pulled up at like three in the nine. morning. Yeah, in the morning. So mind you, right? I like, I feel like, what the fuck? Okay, yeah, it was my first week home. I started smoking weed, so shit blurry now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so now I, I remember I was with my man and them, and then, and then I was at the shop. Okay, so at three in the morning, I just end up in the studio. I just end up right here. 
You feel me? Yeah. Type shit. And then I called Black Fortune up. Fortune yeah. pulled up. And then this shit was a fucking party till 9 in the morning. We was bitch recording till, till then. Crazy joints. Crazy. You feel me? Like, yeah. type shit. And that's when I was like, oh yeah, I don't know what he's doing. You feel me? And then I came back the next day. We knocking out number three jumps. Ever since I like, it's only boy, it's been like a month that we've been locked in, locked in. What you saying, bro? How do you feel about like the investment? I would say of like you know marketing of nowadays with, with like TikTok and how it used to be back in the days. You know, like how do you, how do you how do you feel like that impacts you know artists? I would say you know that I was making music you know about ten years ago or about you know fifteen years ago. <coughs> Uh, I think uh, a lot of people lost. Like, you feel me? Cause I was lost. I, I'm just speaking from my aspect of things, right? Because I ain't know what the fuck marketing was. Uh, I mean, I know what marketing is, but I'm just saying, like, I didn't know even how to, like, find somebody that can help me market. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My stuff or, or some of us be misinformed. We don't know. We just try to make music because we love it. But then you start spending your bag, and you ain't getting that bag, and you're like, man, shit, what the fuck? I'm doing something wrong. And then you got to start learning the business. You feel me? You got to start learning about this your kid, BMI, uh, distributing your music. Your music. Yeah. How you going to get your royalties back? What what are your royalties? What is your, uh, you feel me? Are you are you the publisher, the writer of the song? You got to start learning your splits. You know what I'm saying? Like, as an independent artist, you got to learn all these things. If, if, if you don't know, find a way somebody can teach you or, or, or Google that shit, but like I did, you know what I'm saying? You got to read. It takes a lot of reading, but I don't like reading, bro, but shit, I want to get paid. So that meant I had to read some shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I remember I was just putting out music on YouTube. That shit wasn't giving me back nothing. I'm, I'm, the whole time, I'm making none nigga money. I'm using that nigga beat. He getting royalties off me spending whatever the fuck I'm spending on that shit. I got tired of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. yeah, I had to fucking find out how to fuck, even if it was one cent. But I'm getting that one cent back from my songs. Now it's more. But as far as the marketing, like, you got, you need that. That's very important. You feel me? Because that's how you're going to push your shit. If you want you want more people than just Georgia Avenue to you know your shit, or just whatever fucking street you from, you need that marketing behind your shit, bro. You feel me? Cause then that's how you wanna know where market to, where to hit at. You feel me? That's how I found out I had a presence in Houston and I had a presence in in North Carolina, South Carolina. Come my analytics. You feel me? When I go Apple Music, I go on Spotify. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at where. Okay, this is where they put me at. So then I put money to market in that place. You feel me? I know my city fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Like that's cool, but I need motherfucker random niggas out Arizona, Utah to bump my shit. How do I do that? So you gotta start paying for them ads to go hit that side. You feel me? So, yeah, pretty much. Sure. Facts, man. That's knowledge. Y'all gotta definitely, you know, take that into note, and you know, and and you know, and, and move with it. That's definitely some right knowledge right there. Okay. I'm, but you know, you know, I seen you know you recently posted you know about you know. You know the passing. You know of a uh, you know of a DMV. You know legend. You know artist who we recently has just interviewed as well. You know, yeah, rest in peace to you know the Gunu. You know, uh, I see you know you guys got some love. You know and connection. You know and uh, you know business. You know kind of uh, love as well going on. You know, how how does that you know how did that uh, affect you? Shit, fuck me up. Me and Gunu was in the cell together, bro. You feel me? We only got to get one song in, but fuck the music, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we had, we talked about other shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Real life, like, made a bond. The nigga had, real life had my back in there. It was a situation, you know what I'm saying? The nigga real life showed me. Uh, it's crazy, uh, Gunu's uh, last joint was reported here, too. Yeah, I know, I love it. Fortunate, hey, uh, hey, let me, 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 Oh, so wait, so hold up. So you said the last just last song he recorded wasn't here? Yeah, the the, the one they just put out with Fortune and Flock. 
Oh, for real? Here. We still the one black uh, 14 just put our yeah, feet uh, uh recorded and shot in the studio. For real? Yeah, yeah, though, yeah, yeah. Look at the background. <clears throat> Dang, nah, that's crazy. That shit fucked me up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause mm -hmm. bro, good nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. At the end of the day, the sh you know, it's fucked up, bro. Gotta mm -hmm. keep your head on your sword, man. These niggas, we like trophies. You know how you know how you know how motherfuckers go hunting and they stuff animals and they hang that shit on the fucking wall. I feel like that's how the fuck we looked at. Motherfuckers just like, oh yeah, I gotta smoke him. I'm gonna be that nigga. Ah. I don't know what the fuck, bro. Oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Shit not cool, bro. I mean, but at the end of the day, this shit come with it, bro. You feel me? I ain't, ain't ducking shit over here. You know what I'm saying? Long leg goon, but... The tape we dropping, uh, what will you dropping ne next month? Uh, trying to, maybe, I don't know. Like I said, like, late spring, okay. early summer. Okay. That's for a fact. You feel me? Maybe, like, May, like uh, Labor Day weekend. What was that, Memorial Day weekend? Yeah. Yeah, like, around there. Try, try to, yeah, Memorial Day weekend. That's like, what? Man, yeah, so, yeah. I think, I think that's enough time to get the songs mixed. Right. I mean, mastered, not mixed, mastered. Right. The difference. Yeah, I know the difference. Oh. <coughs> Who do you think has the craziest uh, driving in the DMV? Who do you think has the craziest driving in the DMV? Craziest drive, like as an artist working? Driving, no, like just in driving in general. Oh, Virginia. Virginia? Yeah. <laughs> He's wild as shit. Those niggas drive on medians and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Them niggas drive. Them niggas drive on your land, on your on your lawn. I mean, <laughs> not for real. <laughs> the fuck? Trust me. Virginia is bad. <laughs> I love y'all, Virginia. Okay. Y'all driving slow. V8. V8 going crazy. Mm. So. I ain't gonna lie, Virginia got the. Another quick question: Who you yeah. think has the best food in the U.S.? Who got the best food in the U.S.? I would say, actually, let me fix, change that. Let me see who has the best food in, in general. Like, I would say... I, but, but hold on, hold on. But see, but see, are you talking about state, ethnic... ethnic uh, yeah. You gotta go with yeah, genre. You okay. Gotta go with genre all right, like, all right, all right. Let me... Because, like, yeah. like, I can tell you my favorite dish from every... My, maybe... Yeah. I won't say every country, but I'll say every culture. Okay, all right. Because a lot of us share the same, same type of food. Like, you feel me? Even though, like... I must like our food might be carne asada, right. Mexican might call it bistec, oh like you know what I'm saying like like ropa vieja. All, but at the end of the day, we all got like rice beans, platanos, and steak on somewhere yeah, in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's like it's like and then just like like Chinese, like you feel me? Chinese, Asians, Vietnamese, Koreans, they all got general tiles. They all got. Mm -hmm. But who's is better? Like what the fuck? How can I know? How am I gonna know? Who got have the you, best fuck? It's, it's, so you have you tried? Have you so have you tried all like? I tried all that type of shit. Man. Okay. I tried shit. Damn. So, <laughs> so you would know. So you would know, basically. Yeah, I would know. Damn. You feel me? What's what's yeah. what's the, uh, the 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 okay? How you call that? The the, the what we be eating over there? The Ethiopian spot. The Hobbes spot. Like I eat a lot of Hobbes food. Yo. Like I eat a lot of Hobbes food too. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I just oh. eat pupusas over there. What's up? What's up, Chris? What's My man you? Chris right here, y'all. I'm doing the interview. Now you go out here and let him know, man. Big dog, let him know what you got on so fast. <laughs> What's up, bro? Hey, man. But, uh, hey, Chris. Yeah. Who got the best food, y'all? Yeah? Fine as well. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm trying to get. He says, as far as what? You got to uh -huh. be specific on uh -huh. what you're asking me right, right now. Right, right. Okay. Because right. I love everything. Col so, col so culture. Let's say culture. Who has the best food in culture? 
straight straight from the top. What culture has the best food? Best culture? Uh huh. I'm gonna go with Arabic and Spanish. Arabic? Just like like you know like like not Arabic. I mean uh uh the film, like that whole the whole region. Like do you feel me? Like like the the northeast Africa and uh, all like that like, like Saudi Arabia, all that okay. type of food. Okay. You get what I mean? Like yeah. like 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 like. The spices and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah like it's all spice based. It's all spice based. Okay. Them and us, we got flavor. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. 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 The flavor <laughs> in, the, in the food. Nah, I definitely, I definitely, I have Hispanics too, uh, too as well. I have to go. But then, but then I'm, then, see, I'm, but then I'm, 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 I'm throwing it back. You be biased? You feel like I'm, you be like biased? I'm putting my back to soul food. <laughs> <laughs> like, hold up. I, I, I need.